Hey everyone, Pastor Chase here. I'm so excited about what the Lord's been doing in your life. Yesterday I talked to you about getting baptized. That's your first step now that you're a new Christian. Now your second step now that you've become a Christian is to tell others how Jesus has changed your life. Your story of being saved is called a testimony. And your testimony is a powerful tool that God will use to save others, to save your friends, to save your family members. 1 Peter 4 verse 15, it says, But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy. Always be prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. You might be nervous to share, or you might not feel qualified since you are a new Christian but your testimony is a powerful tool in the hands of God. And also, there's no excuse for you not to tell other people about God. In Luke chapter eight, Jesus heals a man who has been possessed by demons. And the very first thing that Jesus tells this man to do after he heals him and saves him is this. He says, return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. And he went away proclaiming throughout the whole city how much Jesus had done for him. Also, in John chapter 4, Jesus is talking to a promiscuous woman. She's an outcast of society, but after her conversation with Jesus, she goes back to her town and tells others about Jesus, that he is the Christ, that he is the Messiah. And then in John, 40, uh, in John chapter 4, verse 39, it says, many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. So you see, the first step of your new Christian life is to get baptized. The second step is to tell others what Jesus has done in your life. Tell people your testimony. Go and tell your friends about who Jesus is.